Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a minute. But today, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. Let's get into it. Alright, right off the bat, this is not going to work with any kind of moving video or where the camera is moving itself. This has to be a stationary shot like you saw before or like you see right now. And the reason why I say this is because the outside, the part that's going to be widened like you saw, is actually just going to be a still image created in Photoshop. So the very first thing you're going to do is open up your Premiere project and you're going to drag your footage in. You can see I already have my stationary uh, shot set up. What we're going to do is we're going to take a screenshot. I'm going to do it right here. And what we're going to do is Right here under the preview, there is an export frame. And I'm just gonna grab that and I'm going to save that. If it is not popping up under here, you can go ahead and click a button editor and it'll pop up and it should be like right here. Um, and we're just gonna minimize that for now. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up in Photoshop beta, key. you have to open up in Photoshop beta, not your normal Photoshop that you have installed on your computer. What you're gonna do is open that up to a basic 1920 by 1080. Uh, frame and you're gonna do it and you're gonna drag your frame right in and it should fill up the entire frame Just like that you can look up top if you click any of the edges on the side here You'll have a little number up top. I shrunk mine to 45 and That is where I'm at and you can see all this extra space around here You're gonna go over to your left hand side or wherever you have your tools and you're gonna go select the rectangle tool What you're gonna start to do is you're gonna start to drag rectangles on the outside of where it is and this is key. You cannot drag like a rectangle outside of frame. You have to get part of the frame in it. Otherwise it'll just show up as literally blank. So I'm gonna get the little top of the frame here and I'm gonna drag it up to the very top, just like this. And you're gonna see this generative fill. If you do this in normal Photoshop, you will not see this. That's why I said it has to be the beta. But you're gonna click generative fill and then normally you can you know, fill it with whatever you want. I'm just gonna click generate. And just like that, it has generated a decent amount of it. And you can see it gives us three options. So this is the first one. You can go to the second one. Um, that's pretty good. And then third, it's all whatever you feel is gonna work for me. I think the second one's gonna be good. So it actually filled out the rest of the monitor. It closed off the top of the blinds and it gave us pretty much a, 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 all the wall above me. I'm gonna go like maybe right here, go off to the right and do this whole entire right side generative fill. Okay, so it filled out the entire thing. Like I said, it gives us options. We can kind of see what we're, what we're dealing with here, what we can do. Um, so for instance, I see this one and I see this is like a little crooked line um, that I really kind of don't like. It's kind of like a weird plant thing there. This one is kind of interesting. It just adds a plant. This is kind of blurry. It's not, for me, it's not working. I'm not, uh, I'm not super happy with it. You can actually click generate again. And what it'll do is it'll actually give you three more options. And I'm pretty sure you can do this like a bunch of times until you feel like you actually have something that you really like slash enjoy. You can honestly mess around with this uh, generative fill for hours just to really like tweak it how you like. I ended up doing one a little bit after I was done filming and I ended up really liking this. This is a different screenshot that I ended up taking, but I really like this. So I wanted to use that for the video. So what you're going to do is you're just going to export that out as a JPEG or PNG, however you want to do it. We're going to reopen our Premiere file. Once you bring it in, you're going to put a layer below your footage and then go ahead and mute the footage so you can see what it looks like. It is you are going to click on your footage that you've taken. Obviously it's zoomed in like it should be. And then you're gonna pretty much scale out until it essentially matches. So you can kind of see it starts to match like right around there. You can definitely see where the AI image is starting to generate and the actual clip, you know, that we're playing. It's just a slightly different color. The monitor lines off a little bit here. The, the diffuser's off a tad bit. The clothes are off a tad bit. The way you're gonna start to fix these blemishes and you know, the, just the difference in the, the coloring of the walls, you're just gonna literally open Lumetri Color. If you don't have that open, you're gonna go to Windows, make sure you click on it. I have mine over here with this setup. You are going to start to adjust the footage. Uh, yeah, uh, Future Kiko here. Um, I realized I said adjust the color in the footage that you've shot. 
Uh, I was completely wrong. You do not want to adjust the color of, of your footage. You were actually going to change the exposure and everything of the AI photo that we created in Photoshop. So I'm going to go on and continue to say, hey, adjust the footage in this video, but do not do that. Please apply it to the AI photo. I realized as I was editing this, I messed up. <laughs> so um, I adjust the footage and this will do it to the background. It's going to make your life 10 times easier in the long run. Uh, but yeah, back to the video. And try to make it match the color of the background. You can already tell the wall is starting to look a, a way better, but then you can start to tell right here that the desk is a different color. So you're just gonna start to kind of mess, start to mess with things, the highlights, um, the shadows, the exposure, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so this is not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. The monitor is still slightly uh, misaligned. I may have to do a couple more things. You're gonna go over to your effects and you're going to type in crop and you're gonna drag that crop on top of your footage. What this is basically gonna allow us to do is essentially make the footage just a tad bit smaller to let that AI um, photo really kind of take over, if that makes I just do five off uh, the start just to see kind of how it goes. The screen looks better. Obviously the AI uh, photo takes the lines of the screen up. The diffuser's still a tad bit off. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start to bring your edge feather up and it'll slowly, what it'll do is it'll basically soften up the edges. And you can tell now the, the, the color difference right here in the wall completely gone. The desk looks just about normal. The diffuser looks about normal. And just like that, you have your image. And you can actually do this with vertical video as well. So let me show you guys how I do that. I really hope you guys did enjoy that. Uh, it is definitely interesting when I learned something new that could completely change the game in my opinion when it comes to uh, just talking head videos and podcasts in general. But if you guys have any other questions when it comes to just generative fill or even like just like my editing workflow in general, uh, my goal moving forward is to put out videos in a sense of like stuff I do naturally in my workflow, but like a lot of people may not know. So if there's certain things that you're like, oh, I, I really wanna know how to do this better or quicker or you know something along those lines, uh, drop them down in the comments. I appreciate every single one of y'all for tuning in and watching this. I know it's been a minute. A lot has been happening just with life. Obviously you can tell, hey, I'm in a, uh, I'm in a new spot right now. <laughs> so I will probably do some sort of like update video, just kind of like what's happened over the last six months because great things have happened. Uh, it's just been a ton. And that's the reason why you haven't seen me on the long form side. But thank you guys again for watching. Like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.